this morning in the early hours of the morning up the road about eight kilometers from us, um, one of our crew members was brutally attacked in his home. He was attacked by three men at two o'clock in the morning. They managed to get into his home. And um, this really just made us reflect. It was very triggering for all of us here at the Jazz Farm. And it also made all of us exceedingly angry because that is the natural reaction to something like this. Uh, we know that it is now 27 months since Jules' murder. We know that there's never been any, any investigation. And we know that there will never be any investigation into the, the severe assault that Rian suffered in the early hours of this morning. But we've actually just kind of had enough of all of this. Because, you know, here at the Hot Box Show and Fields of Green for All and at the Jazz Farm, the news is running. The news is running all the time. And um, the cannabis news is running all the time. And just yesterday, our, uh, our dear brother Green, Ricky Stone, posted on one of our groups a, a, a leaked version of the Cannabis for Private Purposes bill. But um, a little bit more about that later. It's really nice to have Joe and, and Dale with me here, um, uh, here in the studio as a bit of support. And this is, uh, I suppose, a form of of Myrtle's rant. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's going to include Myrtle's rant, but we just we wanted to show up and say we are here. <coughs> We've shown up to not do a show in support yes. of our our, 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 we crewmates, our family, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, and in support of everybody else who's been a victim of crime mm -hmm. um, today in South Africa or or ever, because this is this really is is the reality mm. and i think that the the south african police were were very very kind and uh did the best that they could so i think that that's important to to very add much. as well they didn't question us too much they about no the, the uh but but they there did, was half a joint on the scene and they were there first mm. they were there first yeah they did ask joe like why does this guy leave his dacha lying around so she said because it's his private space so mm. you know uh, there always has to be a little thing like that. Yeah, there's an old Afrikaans guy, like he's been in the SAPS since the 1970s, yeah. or, and no disrespect, but he's an elder. Yeah. It's, it's, it's his mindset, you know, yeah. the next generation of cops, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. hopefully, will come with a fresh mindset. So I just felt that Myrtle's rant could be about this tonight. Um, and... Uh, I don't know, you know, it's very difficult to sit here in front of the camera and do a Myrtle's rant and for it not to be a just a uh, huge kind of car -ish explosion of oh, look what's happening to our country and everything like that. So let me just put it into perspective for you. Yesterday we get on our group uh, uh, the amendments to the Cannabis for Private Purposes Bill. And so I just wanted to bring up one of the um, sections that... Uh, Rian actually highlighted on the group yesterday and cultivation offences. An adult person who in a private place cultivates more than a prescribed quantity contemplated in section blah 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 but less than a trafficable quantity of cannabis plants is guilty of a class C, a class D offence and a trafficable trafficable quantity of cannabis plants is guilty of a class B, class C offence, or a commercial quantity of cannabis plants is guilty of this class A, class B. An adult person who cultivates a cannabis plant at any place and who fails to take reasonable measures to ensure that the cannabis plant is inaccessible to a child or comply with any requirement or standard regarding the cultivation of cannabis plants in a private place. And so it goes on while our people are dying, while our people are being extorted, while the police have no resources. This is why we are so deflated today. You know, it's just one of those days. So I don't know why they don't just leave us alone and go and sort out the serious businesses in this country. Just leave us alone. What is this bullshit that they're writing here? 
Class B, Class D offence lock us up in cages when this is happening to one of our family in the early hours of this morning. What is that rubbish? Ignorant rubbish. And now I'm really ranting here because we've got the comparison. We've got the comparison. And as we walked into the studio tonight, Amy got a beep beep on her phone and she looked and it was, a, um, it was an advert from Mr. D saying, oh, happy hour is here. Let us deliver your booze to your house. And then today, while I was driving in the car, I heard on the radio a huge big hoo-ha. How they're going to stop online sales of vape pens that are harm reduction for us, harm reduction tool for us nicotine addicts. So we, well, what's this all going about? The government are putting resources and plans and research and committees and laws and regulations about nicotine. And then you can buy your booze on Mr. D and sit and, and drink it in front of your child. And then here in red, if you do no, fails to take reasonable measures to ensure that the cannabis plant is inaccessible to a child, what is that cannabis plant going to do to the child? Leap out of its pot and gnaw the child's nose off or something. You know what I mean? Really, really, South Africa, really, government, really, Justice Department, wait until we get a, a chance to comment again. What is this rubbish of them wasting our time? I came across an amazing article on a global initiative um, uh, website which has some great, great, uh, mainly economics-based news from around the world. And, um, you know, the varieties of our, uh, our global economy and our local economy and so on. It's a very interesting website. It's called Global Initiative. And in there, they had a report on South Africa and organized crime that just wants to make you creep. And you want to tell me I must keep my daca plant away from a child. Really? You want to tell me that we had to rush Rian to a private hospital and spend a fortune this, the, in the early hours of this morning because he's a victim of crime? What about those people who are victim, victims of crime in informal settlements who don't have the money and who die on the floors of our local government hospitals because they've stolen all the money? That's why. And you're worrying about a cannabis plant in front of a child. Pathetic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is, is my rant for the evening. Wake up, Justice Department. This garbage that you're delivering to us, it's an insult. And we will not have any of it. And we will shall, shall see you in court. Thank you.